Hi, this is Aime Buchanan, and today we're going to do a little bit of um, hands-on training for those of you who feel or who are artistically inclined or not. I uh, want to show you how to create a quick banner uh, using Fireworks. This is what I use. You can uh, probably download a free copy of Fireworks uh, for 30 days um, over at the I uh, used to have the Micromedia one. I think the CS3 or something like that is out now at the Adobe uh, website. But anyway, let's create a um, a nice banner. And for uh, web resolution, uh, let's say your website is about, uh, typically they're about eight, um, 800 wide. But let's do a, a let's do a, a more standard um, size here. Let's say you're going to use your banner for maybe... Uh, advertising online or something like that banner advertising we're gonna make this white I'll show you just a couple of fun tricks here um, yeah let's make that a little bigger just so that for the sake of um, of showing you what I'm gonna do okay so uh, this is the size of your canvas okay so here you have your fireworks screen let's make this a little large here Okay, so the first thing I always do is I always cover the background with a square, and that just gives me some flexibility to add some um, uh, gradients uh, on here so that it looks a little bit more interesting. But for now, we're going to keep it um, somewhat uh, to this color here. We're going to play with uh, maybe red and orange or something like that. So here you have your first um, your first uh, square. All I did was drag that in there. And now I always like to add some fun stuff. So we're going to add another square. Obviously it made it the same color. So we're going to try something on top of that that's a little bit different. Okay, there you go. These are just examples for folks, so obviously pick the colors that you that you like. Um, here's something fun to do with the square. Okay, are you ready? Just go up here under filters and pick uh, your alien uh, candy and choose edges. It's going to convert that square, so just say okay. And I don't know if you can tell from your video, you can see the edges here. You can pick um, different types. I like the lumpy type. And then you can adjust your settings a little bit to see how um, how it changes the the edge of your photo of your um, of your square or your rectangle, if you would. So there's kind of a fun one. Let's say okay, this just for the sake of showing you. So there you go. Kind of makes it a little bit. Um, you know, more artistic, if you would. Now let's take that square and make it a little bit 3D-ish. So you just go under the filters and um, under shadow and glow, go ahead and click on drop shadow. And as you can see, it kind of looks like it's raised a little bit. It looks more like a, like a label. And then I'm gonna add um, a little image here. I, For the sake of time and simplicity, I have already saved the image, but uh, what I use is, um, I use iStock Photo to get my images. And um, as long as you are not going to physically sell the images, then they're, you know, you just pay for that one time um, credit and they're like a dollar or something like that per image. So they're usually, dump them in your desktop so I'm gonna go do an import and uh, click on desktop and I got this dolphin here okay and I'm gonna show you something really quick take the dolphin and plop it in here you see a dolphin and we're gonna resize it and one trick that I found in fireworks or resize if you hold down your shift key and uh, with the mouse, you just drag that corner in. It'll resize it proportionally. Now, um, it's the Apple key on your Mac and it's the Shift key in your PC. So if you hold down the Apple key, um, I'm sorry, the Control key next to your com The Shift key for both, actually. Sorry about that. The Shift key. You can resize it, and there's your little dolphin, okay? Um, and we're going to even make that dolphin, boop. Yeah, the drop shadow, and, 
and there he looks like he's standing out also. And then we're gonna do a little bit of fun text here and we're gonna call this, um, let's say, Rocky Point Reservations. This is not my company, just, um, you know, a name I picked that would have dolphins. I would imagine Rocky Point, Mexico would probably have some dolphins going on. So there we go. We can even go a little farther. And okay, so you uh, copy and paste the title and then you flip it over vertically. And then what I like to do is um, you take and you make that bottom one um, a little bit more transparent so that it looks like a reflection, okay? Sometimes the Ys are a little bit difficult to work with, so they'll show a little bit in the background, but that's okay. I think, um, uh, I think it's, uh, I don't think it's too big a deal, but you can move that down a little bit, or I don't know, if there's a phone number you want to add. You can add a text field here and add the number. Let's say 800 uh, I always like to make phone numbers um, stand out in a different color if that's the action you want them to take or if you want them to um, go to your website. Because when you're on the internet, when you see a banner, um, you're going to click on them anyway. Um, you can save that space and instead of writing your website address, if a phone number, obviously it's a, it's an it's an action step for you, it's a solution. Then I would I would do the phone number instead. Um, and sometimes if you add the shade to things, they kind of stand out a little bit better for you. So they, you know the white might look better here after all if you move it down. There we go. So. There's your cool graphic. Um, you have a little bit of an edge here left over. You want to make sure when you're done um, recording your graphics or drawing your graphics that you go under Canvas and hit uh, select fit canvas and it'll automatically adjust the canvas size um, to fit your banner um, exactly to the dimensions that, that you wanted it. So there you go. After you're done with fireworks, you're going to save um, this file we're gonna call it sample and it's gonna save it as a PNG okay fireworks and usually graphic design programs they save a PNG or uh, file which is the editable editable not editable editable version of your file but then that's pretty large right so you don't want to hang that on your website you want to then do an export to a file that is um, you know a website uh, GIF or a JPEG extension and those are the ones that you'll hang on your website because they are compressed and also if you hang your PNGs then people might be able to um, write copy save them and edit them you want to make sure that you enter the the JPEGs to save yourself a little bit uh, copy right there so have fun enjoy apply go to Adobe and uh, create your banners you can make them any size talk to you soon bye bye